Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add your IQ2, or in my case the IQ2 Plus, to your local Wi-Fi. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, wait, but what if I have the IQ2 and not the IQ2 Plus, or vice versa? Well, they're exactly the same panel, so what you're going to see me do here today on this panel is going to be the exact same process whether or not you have one panel or the other. It's exactly the same panel. The only difference is that the IQ2 Plus has the PowerG daughterboard card built into it and the IQ2 does not. All right. Now, uh, first thing I want to go ahead and touch base on is that the IQ2s or the IQ2 Pluses do come with Wi-Fi built in and they come with either an AT&T or Verizon cellular card built in. It depends what flavor you get. Now, the one thing that's very important is when you guys go to activate your alarm system, if this is something that you guys are interested in doing, you cannot activate the system on a Wi-Fi only plan. Alarm.com only allows you to activate your alarm system on cellular. All right. Now, what this means for you people out there, if you guys are looking at a company that offers Wi-Fi only based plans, you'll see that the pricing is a lot less because cellular is extra and the monitoring companies or the alarm companies like ourselves we have to pay for those cellular fees so if you guys have an iq2 or an iq2 plus it uses alarm.com service and because it uses alarm.com service we cannot activate on a wi-fi only it has to be cellular has to be enabled on the plan which means your monitoring prices are always going to be a little bit higher than those who use wi-fi only systems such as the honeywell system or residual systems um, now one thing that i will go ahead and start getting into is you see here my iq2 plus actually says your iq panel is disconnected from wi-fi please check your wi-fi slash network configuration now this may or may come may or may not be coming up on your screen if it is just go ahead and tap on it um, now adding the iq2 or the iq2 plus to your wi-fi is actually very easily done uh, you basically add it just like you do any other device your cell phone gaming consoles laptops um, tablets whatever you guys have ever hooked up to your wi-fi you're on the, you're familiar with the process where you have to search for the network click the network enter in your password click the connect button and then it'll let you know whether or not you entered in the password correctly or not and if it's successfully joined. So to do that, we do need to go into the advanced settings menu on the IQ2 Plus. So if you have a new IQ2 or an IQ2 Plus, you're just going to need your dealer code or your installer code. The installer code is usually 1111 and the dealer code is usually 2222. If you have either one of these, then you're in perfectly good shape. You can connect it to your Wi-Fi. Keep in mind, some companies do change the codes on you, so you want to make sure that you know your codes. All right? So to go into advanced settings, I'm going to hit the little gray bar at the very top. You can either slide down or just press it. Um, after you press it, you're going to hit settings on the top uh, far left. You'll notice here it says no Wi-Fi access. Please check your Wi-Fi or router connection. I'm just going to hit OK. I am aware that my panel is not connected to the Wi-Fi and I'm actually showing you guys how to connect it right now. So after you're in this main menu here, you're going to go to advanced settings, bottom right hand corner. Enter user code. It's going to ask you to enter in the user code. You need to enter in your installer or dealer code. Remember mine my panel's defaulted, so I have the default codes. I'm going to use 1111, but you could also use 2222 if your panel's defaulted. If, you've, if your codes have been changed, you need to use the correct codes. Once you enter in your code, whether it's the dealer or installer code, um, you're going to see a couple of different options come up on the screen here. It's very simple. You're pairing to Wi-Fi, so the button you want to go ahead and click on will be the Wi-Fi button. Yes, CoolSys makes it very easy for you guys to connect your panel and to do stuff, program, connect, do add Z-Wave devices. They make it very easy, very straightforward. And as you can see here, um, my Wi-Fi is enabled. Uh, sorry, let me go ahead and hit back. Now, if you are not seeing anything in the list, first of all, Make sure that where it says activate Wi-Fi right here up at the very top, if you look to the far right, there's a little box. Mine is checked. If I uncheck that box, 
you will see no Wi-Fi networks available. And it'll actually let you know to see available networks, turn the Wi-Fi on. So if you uncheck that box or if your box is not checked, then that means that the Wi-Fi is currently disabled. You need to go ahead and make sure there's a check mark in this far right box. It'll say turning Wi-Fi on. It'll say searching for networks. And then I have a whole bunch of networks available. You can go ahead and scroll up or down. Um, now, the IQ2 Plus, some panels out there, if you've ever had an alarm system, you recently moved or anything like that, you'll notice that the IQ2 Plus, depending on your router, will actually pick up on your 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency. All right, you can use whichever one. Um, normally, if your system is far away from the router, you want to use 2.4 gigahertz frequency as that's better for a longer range Wi-Fi connection. And then if your panel is literally right next to your router, you should use a 5 gigahertz connection because that's better whenever you're closer to the router. All right. So uh, right now I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to click alarm grid and then it's going to ask you to enter in your password. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password. Now, for the password, if you're not sure if you made a mistake or not, you can hit show password and it will actually show you everything you've typed. Um, now, I'm not going to hit show password. I don't want you guys to see my Wi-Fi password. But in the event that you guys think you may have made a typo, you can always go ahead and hit show password and you'll be able to see whether or not you typed in your password correctly. Now, after you've typed in your password, all you have to do is hit connect and if you entered in the password correctly, it'll say connected underneath the Wi-Fi network. Once you have connected to the Wi-Fi network, you can just hit the home button. Now, one little option I also want to show you guys, you can also pair it using the WPS button. So if you guys have a WPS button on your router, you guys can just hit that WPS push button, press it then on your router, and it pairs automatically like that. They'll handshake, they'll connect. So there's different ways that you can connect to the Wi-Fi. This was just the simplest way here. And um, like I said, once you finish connecting to your Wi-Fi, just hit the house button and it'll bring you out to the main screen. All right, so if you guys have any questions at all about connecting your IQ2 or your IQ2 Plus to a Wi-Fi network, please feel free to contact us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.